first I will draw a an ellipse and then rectangle. Let me change their color into something we can see better. Make a copy of this one. Let me rotate it. Let me move it over here. And this will be the transmembrane domain. And here, click on union. Then you can uh, merge all of these shapes together. And from here, you can select this uh, node and then click on to make selected node smooth. Uh, this node stays sharp. And then this one, I'm gonna adjust the handle and make it completely straight, vertical, and this one as well. And let's move this node down a little bit. Okay, and uh, this part is a little bit tricky. This you can move, move it a, a little bit like to the left. And I'll make this a little bit. Create perfect circle. And I'll put a circle on top of uh, the part that I want to crop out. I'll offset it a little bit. So the center is uh, over here. Then select both of them and go to path. And uh, when you use difference, then you see it crop out that uh, cytokine binding domain, right? And now I will fill it in with a with a radio gradient uh, select your radio gradient here and then cyan color and then this center needs to be white and uh, we need a gray outline hold shift and then click on the swatch let's make it a little bit thinner 0.15 make a copy of it and then to object and flip it horizontally and then align these two domains so the receptor is a hetero dimer so you might want to have a different color in the one of the domains you can also get your cytokine here a little bit smaller create gradient the outline shift gray and then okay now we have the cytokine so let me draw jack just uh, create an ellipse and then also radial gradient you can uh, manipulate the long arm and the short arm radiating in an ellipse uh, shape label some of the structures so we have a cytokine receptor 